Hello, today we are going to be talking about fire. This house is on fire. These are firefighters trying to put out the fire. These firefighters have a hose to spray on the fire, to put the fire out. This is a fire. There are a few types of fires. This is a grease fire. Grease fires are started when oil gets too hot. It can be when you put it on a pan and you cook it and it gets hot. When it gets too hot, it can catch on fire and start a grease fire. There, these oils can be olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, and butter. All of these can start a grease fire if they are not cared for properly. This pan on the stove is on fire. If you see a grease fire, do not pour water on it. The water will make it bigger. Instead, you want to cover it or smother it. This is a lid for a pan. If there is a fire, you want to put the lid on the pan so that it cannot feel air. You want to cover the fire if there is a grease fire. You might want to put salt on the fire. In, from the salt shaker, adding salt on the fire will put the fire out. This is baking soda. Putting baking soda on the fire will also put the fire out. This is a fire extinguisher. If you spray the fire with a fire extinguisher, you can put the fire out. Remember, do not put water on a grease fire. You want to cover a grease fire with a lid for if it is in a pan. You want to cover it. You want to use salt, baking soda, or a fire extinguisher. The first thing you want to do is prevent a fire. You do not want the fire to start in the first place. You can do this by blowing out all candles so that they cannot knock over and start a fire. You want to make sure that your smoke detector works. Your smoke detector will feel if there is a fire and make a very loud noise. A lot of buildings have fire alarms and they will be very loud and they will ring. This is a fire alarm. This is a fire extinguisher. It can put the fire out if you spray it. These are in big red boxes on walls in buildings. You have to break the glass in on the box, take the extinguisher out and spray it on the fire. On buildings, there will be fire exit signs on ceilings and you will have to leave through these fire exits. 
if there is a fire in your house or in your building, leave the building or leave your house. Do not take, do not stop to take your possessions. They will be okay. You want to go outside and then call 911 on your phone. When you are calling 911, they will say, 911, what is your emergency? They will say that, and you will say, there's a fire in my home. There's a fire in my home. They will ask you, what is your address? And you will tell them your address. This person's address is 751 North Indian Creek Drive, apartment 325. You need to tell them your address. They will then send fire trucks with big hoses, like the ones that we saw in the beginning of the presentation. These people will come to put the fire out. And if there is a fire in your building, use the stairs. Do not use an elevator. You want an elevator can be dangerous. There can be smoke that comes to the elevator and it can stop your breathing. So do not use the elevator. Use the stairs. These are the stairs. You want to go down the stairs. During a fire, make sure to cover your nose and your mouth so that smoke cannot get into your lungs. And if there's a lot of smoke, there is an area where there is no smoke on the very bottom. So you want to crawl under the smoke. If you are on the very top floor, climb out the window if it is safe. You have to open the window, check if the surrounding is safe, and then you leave. If you are on fire, if maybe when you are cooking, your sleep lights on fire, you have to stop what you are doing, drop to the floor, and roll. Roll on the ground so that the fire will be covered. This is an easy way to cover the fire. Do not panic. Anyways, thank you and have a great afternoon or evening. Bye-bye.